Asociación Argentina. Busta Films 1. Presents. Fadia. History. The Cordoba Aircraft Factory was the first in Latin America. Founded in 1927, the then military aircraft factory initially built three aircraft under European licenses, but as early as 1931, under the direction of military engineer Bartolome de la Colina, he designed and built the first national plane, the AC-1, whose success unleashed a family of Argentine aeronautical products. In 1944, after the inauguration of Major Engineer Juan Ignacio San Martin as director of the company, the factory produced a jump that took it to occupy more than 9,000 to occupy more than 9,000 people in an industrial complex that, from the creation of IAME (Aeronautical Industries and State Mechanics) in 1952, not only built aircraft, engines, propellers, and accessories, but also utility vehicles, automobiles, tractors, and motorcycles. The DL-22A aircraft product impeller of this important growth of national design was the product impeller of this important growth by the manufacture of two series of 100 airplanes each the production in series of ia and 22 dl framed in the first five-year plan allowed the fma to outsource the manufacturing of many of its components to private companies thus generating the birth of some 107 factories and workshops the Aircraft Institute, as the factory was called after 1943, supervised the transfer of technologies by providing technical advice and economic support when necessary. This set the foundations of the industry that would later enable the installation of the first automotive terminals in Argentina, Fiat in 1954 and Industrias Kaiser Argentina I. In 1947 the first jet designed and built in South America flew IAN-27 Polk Y-1. In 1950 he made his first flight the Iowa E-33 Polk Y-2, a hunt technologically comparable to the best of the time capable of reaching 1,050 km per hour. Five prototypes were built. It is noteworthy that between 1940 and 1955 only national developments were manufactured, not making any aircraft under license. From the 1955 revolution, there was a sudden change in the plans of the factory and the manufacturer became licensed. At the end of the 1960s, IA-58 Poot car left the factory, an excellent national plane of support and light attack that was exported to different countries and is currently in the process of modernization. In 1984 he made his inaugural flight the advanced training aircraft IA-63 Pampa, which is currently being produced in a modernized version. The neoliberal current, which came to the country under the military dictatorship in the late 1970s, triggered by a decree of Martinez de Haas, at the close of the eye, mechanical industries investments of foreign automotive companies and about 3,000 people were out of work. This process would date the of the 90 when the national government gave the company in concession to the Amirastra Jaquid Martin, one of the greater worldwide conglomerates dedicated to the defense. The privatization lasted 15 years and during that period the institutional emphasis, as well as the investments and the resources in general stopped being manufactured to foment mainly the investment sales in nine the national state, from a political decision of the government of the President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, acquired the shares of the American firm Lockheed Martin and of foreign automotive the new Argentine aircraft factory Brigadier San Martin Sociedad and owner of companies and about 3,000 people were out of work. This process would deepen in the decade of the 90 when the national government gave the company in concession to the American one Lockheed Martin, one of the greater worlds to achieve worldwide standards of excellence. At present, all the civil and military technology industries in Argentina are under a neoliberal policy worse than in the military dictatorship of the 1970s thank wide conglomerates dedicated to the defense. The privatization lasted 15 years and during that period the institutional emphasis, as well as the 